we have this ash tree here, not a very big tree by any means, but looks like a lot of dead sticks up in there. I'm not sure if the tree's even alive at this point. And the concern is, she's, it's a pretty upscale neighborhood here. She cares about her lawn, cares about her shrubs. If we bring the bucket in or rig it out and start handling all that material, all those dead sticks, it's gonna be a big mess and a little pain in the, you know what, to clean up back in here. So, my thought is let's get it out into the street. We also wanna preserve these shrubs right along here too. So, I thought if we got a barber chair on this guy, intentional barber chair, uh, we could keep the, tr the trunk of this tree up off the shrubs. That's my idea. I'm not sure if it's going to work or not, but it's certainly not a big enough tree to do much damage. We got a big bowline in there going through a block here, floating block out here. We just got to tie it off up to the truck there. I'm sure we got plenty of, plenty of pull, and direction of pull is going to be crucial. This is just right in the line with the pull, and that's right against the lean here. So it took a little bit of setting up. I just put a couple of slings together here. That's kind of silly, but we had them handy. Just tied them all together to make it work. And then we're all set up with the chipper back here. So one cut, she should come over. Let's see what happens. All right, we're here to give this intentional barber chair another try. I got a short little rope up here right around the first crotch. The idea is just to keep this tree on the stump. Crucial here is making sure that this pole line is directly 180 degrees to the lean. Uh, we should be able to control it just on the wood fibers uh, with the, the, the pole and the fibers of the wood without actually using a hinge. I got to be careful this line's under tension. If I nick that, the party's all over here. So I got to be a little careful about that. So we're trying to keep the trunk up off the shrubs here. It's not that, that big a deal if it comes down. Somewhat of an experimental situation. Don't recommend doing this. Don't try this. It's just for fun, really, for me. And see what we can get away with, what, what works and what doesn't. <laughs> Those fibers are about separating there. I'm just gonna jump in the truck. We're gonna give it a pull. Uh, so far so good she's up off the bushes which was the main concern and a couple little branches we had to cut off of the little apple tree and this shrub here so they're off of there no harm done there this mess is all out in the street pretty much right behind the chipper ready to go oh yeah so it actually it it really Ripped downward on the trunk, not upwards, which is not unexpected now that I think about it. So there's a lesson to be learned. If you're not down at the stump there, you're high like this, it definitely has a tendency to want to rip downwards rather than upwards. But the effect was pretty much the same, keeping it up off the ground. holding up on those fibers it worked kind of fun thanks for watching